Firepaw could tell there were several cats in the patrol traveling fast. He couldn't recognize the individual scents of the cats through the earthy bog odors, but he knew it was ThunderClan. He held his breath as the paw steps raced past and away. Are you really going to try to rescue the kids from ShadowClan alone? whispered Graypaw. Yellowfang answered him first. I might be able to find us some help from inside ShadowClan. Not all the cats support Broken Star. Firepaw pricked up his ears and Graypaw flicked his tail in surprise. When he became leader, Yellowfang explained, Broken Star forced the elders to leave the security of the inner camp. They had to live on the boundary and hunt for themselves. These are cats who have grown up with the warrior code. Some of them might help us. Firepaw stared into her old eyes, thinking quickly. And I might be able to persuade the ThunderClan hunting party to help us too, he meowed. If I can speak to them before they see Yellowfang, I might be able to make them believe her story. Graypaw, you wait by the dead ash, where we smell the kit kit blood, so one of us returns. Graypaw looked worried. But do you really trust Yellowfang to bring back help? He murdered a Firepaw. You must trust me, growled Yellowfang. I'll return. Graypaw looked at Firepaw, who nodded. Without another word, Yellowfang sprang past the two apprentices and disappeared into the bushes. Have we done the right thing? asked Graypaw. I don't know, Firepaw admitted. If we have, we are heroes and the kids are safe. If we're wrong, then we're as good as dead. Firepaw sprinted after the patrol, around brambles, past gorst, and through nettles. The trail was easy to follow. The angry ThunderClan cats weren't trying to disguise their presence in ShadowClan territory. Overhead, the thick layer of cloud had rolled away. Beyond the treetops, Silverpelt glittered across the night sky. The moon was just rising, but its cold light couldn't pierce the mist that clung to the shadowy undergrowth. Firepaw concentrated on the scent from up ahead. He could smell Whitestorm. He sniffed again. Tigerclaw wasn't with them. He raced to catch up and skidded to a halt behind the band of ThunderClan cats. The warriors turned and glared at him, fur bristling, ears flattened aggressively. Darkstripe was with them, and the young she-cat, Mousefur, as well as the tabby warrior, Running Wind. Mousefur wasn't the only she-cat on patrol. Willowpelt was there, too. Firepaw! growled Whitestorm. What are you doing here? Firepaw gasped for breath. Blue Star sent me, he panted. She wanted me to find Yellowfang before... White Star interrupted him. Ha! Ah, he meowed. Blue Star told me I might find a friend out here. Now I understand what she meant. He looked thoughtfully at Firepaw. Is Tiger Claw nearby? Firepaw asked, being in a tingle of pride at their shared gaze. White Storm looked at him curiously. Blue Star insisted she needed him to remain at camp. To protect the remaining kits. Firepaw nodded quickly, relieved. He meowed urgently. Whitestorm, I need your help. I can lead you to the kits. Graypaw's waiting for me. We, we plan to rescue them tonight. Will you come? Of course we'll come. The warriors flicked their tails with excitement. It'll mean raiding the Shadow Clan camp, Firepaw warned. Can you lead us there? Asked Running Wind eagerly. No, but Yellowfang can, and she promised to bring help from her old allies in the camp. Mousefur glared at him and thrashed her tail angrily. You found Yellowfang, she hissed. I don't understand, meowed Whitesporn, puzzled. The traitor is going to help rescue the kits she stole? Firepot took a deep breath to calm himself, then looked steadily into Whitestorm's eyes. Yellowfang didn't take them, he meowed. Nor did she murder Spotted Leaf. She wants to help us rescue our kids. Whitestorm stared back at him, then blinked slowly. Lead the way, Firepaw, he ordered. Graypaw was waiting by the ash tree, pacing restlessly around its rotted trunk. He stopped as soon as he heard the patrol emerging from the mist and twitched his whiskers in greeting. Any sign of Yellowfang? Firepaw asked. Not yet, answered Graypaw. We don't know how far it is to the Shadow Clan camp, Firepaw pointed out quickly, feeling Whitestorm stiffen beside him. She may be on her way back right now. Or she might be happily sharing tongues with her Shadow Clan comrades while we sit here like fools waiting to be ambushed, meowed Graypaw. 
Whitestorm watched the two apprentices. His ears flicked uneasily. Firepaw, he prompted. She will come back, Firepaw promised. Well said, young Firepaw. Yellowfang stalked out from behind the ash tree and sat down. You're not the only one who can sneak up on someone, she meowed at Firepaw. Remember the day we met? You were looking in the wrong direction this time, too. Three other ShadowClan cats appeared from behind the tree and settled themselves calmly on either side of Yellowfang. The ThunderClan cats bristled, alert and suspicious. Both clans stared silently at each other. Firepaw fidgeted uncomfortably, unsure what to do now. Eventually, one of the ShadowClan cats, a gray tom, spoke. His long body was skinny and his fur looked dull. We have come to help you, not harm you. You have come for your kits. We will help you rescue them. What's in it for you? asked Whitestorm warily. We want your help to get rid of Broken Star. He has broken the warrior code and Shadow Clan is suffering. So it's that simple, is it? growled Running Wind. We just drop into your camp, snatch the kids, kill the leader, and go home. You will not meet as much resistance as you think, murmured the Grey Tom. Yellowfang stood up. Let me introduce my old friends, she meowed, weaving her way around the Shadow Clan cats. She brushed past the, sha- the Grey Tom. This is Ashfur. He is one of the clan elders. And this is Night Pelt. A senior warrior before Ragged Star was killed. She circled battered Black Tom, who nodded at them. And this is one of our elder queens, Dawn Cloud. Two of her kids died driving out Wind Clan. Dawn Cloud, a small tabby, meowed in greeting. I do not wish to lose any more of my kids, she told them. Whitestorm gave his chest a quick look to smooth down his fur. You are clearly skilled warriors if you manage to creep up on us like that. But are there enough of you? We need to know what we'll face when we raid the Shadow Clan camp. The old and sick of Shadow Clan are slowly starving, meowed Ashfur. The casualties among our kids are more than we can cope with. But if Shadow Clan is a mess, burst out Darkstripe. How come you have shown so much strength lately? And why is Broken Star still your leader? Broken Star is surrounded by a small group of elite warriors, answered Ashfur. They are the ones to fear, because they would die for him without question. The other warriors obey his orders be only because they are frightened. They will fight by his side as long as they think Broken Star is going to win. If they thought he would lose... They would fight against him, not for him. Darkstripe finished the Elder's words in disgust. What sort of loyalty is that? The hackles of the Shadow Clan cats began to rise. Our clan is not always like this, Yellowfang interrupted. When Ragged Star led Shadow Clan, we were feared for our strength. But in those days, our strength came from the Warrior Code and clan loyalty, not from fear and bloodlust. The old medicine cat sighed. If only Ragged Star had lived longer. How did Ragged Star die? Asked Whitestorm curiously. There were so many rumors at the gatherings, but no one seemed to know for sure. Yellowfang's eyes clouded with sorrow. He was ambushed by a warrior patrol from another clan. Whitestorm nodded thoughtfully. Yes, that is what most clans seem to think. These are bad times indeed, when leaders are picked off in the dark, instead of open and honorable battle. Firepaw frowned, his mind racing over different battle plans. Is there any way of taking the kits without alerting the whole clan? He asked. Dawncloud answered him. They are very closely guarded. Broken Star will be expecting Thunderclan to try and take them. You won't be able to steal them in secret. Open attack is your only hope. Then we must concentrate our attack on Broken Star and his inner guard, meowed Whitestorm. Yellowfang had a suggestion. The Shadow Clan warriors should lead me into the Shadow Clan camp. They could say they had captured me. We have to make sure Broken Star and his warriors are out of their den. News of my capture will bring them into the clearing. 
Once they're out in the open, I'll give the signal for you to attack. Whitestorm was silent for a moment, then nodded, his face grave as he committed his warriors to the attack. Very well, Yellowfang, he meowed. Please lead the way to the Shadowclan camp.